Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create these two patterns. First is the half pyramid and second is the full pyramid using Python. So first of all, let's see that what are the basic knowledge that you need to know so that you can understand these uh, programs very easily. So uh, first of all, you should know that what are variables and what are values. Pretty simple. You should know what is the difference between the string and numeric value. You should know that how a for loop works and you should know how a range function works. Okay, so if you have any confusion on these topics, then I have provided the video in the description. You can watch from there. Although I'll explain you each line in detail in this video also. Okay, so let's start. So uh, first of all, let's create two variables. First is a, which will store a star or the value which for which we want to create the pyramid. We will create the star pyramid here. Okay. So our first variable is a and second variable is b. Okay. So a is having star and b is having spaces because there are two characters present. First is the star and second is the space. There you can see it is having five space then four three two one okay so then we'll have the number of steps of these pyramid let's say we want to create a pyramid of five steps there you can see this is of five step one two three four five six actually six but because python indexing starts from zero so it will go from zero to five so it will become six so if you want to create for 5, you will write 4 here. Then we'll create a variable j. We'll write the number 1 for the initial stage. Now let's create a for loop for k in range. Okay. So first, let me write this. Then I'll explain you what is happening here. Okay. So first of all, the range function has three parameters. First is the starting value second is the ending value and third is the difference between two consecutive values okay so this for loop is going through this list if you want to know more about this for and range combination then you can watch my loops video because in that video i have explained more clearly that how this works although i'll try my best to explain this thing here first we are having i which is the value 4 this is the initial value then we have minus 1 so this for loop will go from the value 4 to minus 1 and this is the reverse indexing now in normal indexing the value goes from goes in descending order but in this case we are having the negative indexing so it will go in ascending order so this will go as 4 3 2 1 and then 0 so let us first print and see that how this for loop is working okay so we'll first of all print this k value here and we are having some error uh, b is not defined okay so this should be an equal to sign so there you can see as i've told you this range function has created a list of 43210 value and then this for loop is going through all of these items list okay so now let's write the actual line which will create our uh, pyramid so first of all let's create this half pyramid then i'll show you that how you can make just one change to convert from this pyramid to this pyramid okay so first of all we want this k which is the number of iteration to be multiplied with a okay uh, sorry b because we want the number of spaces to be first four because let us go through this pyramid again and let me minimize you so that we can uh, understand this line by line okay uh, sorry not this one uh, this one let me minimize this 
okay so there you can see first of all we are having four empty spaces or four spaces then the number of spaces is decreasing by each iteration so this is what we are doing here first of all we'll write the uh, number of spaces as four then we'll decrease that so let's go on to the second value which is to print the uh, this a value so what we'll do is we'll multiply this with j okay so let let me first write then i'll explain you what is happening here then j is equal to j plus one just a second j is equal to j plus one okay so let me first explain you him for so first so let's go through this for loop first of all the value of k is four okay so k so this blank space is multiplied for four times so this blank space is created then the j value is one there you can see we have created this variable one then one star is printed then again j is incremented to 2 the value of j becomes 2 then again we come to this for loop and this the k value becomes 3 so the number of spaces becomes 3 and the number of j or the star becomes 2 so the number is 3 and the number of star is 2 okay so this will go on go on go on until the value reaches zero or the number of uh, blank spaces reaches zero okay so let me run this and there you can see this is the half pyramid okay so i'm giving you two seconds time to think that how you can create this uh, whole pyramid from this only program by just making one change okay so i am giving you five second time one two three four five okay so now your time is over if you are able to find that out then very good if not then let me show you you just have to do one thing you have to multiply this by two okay so let me run this then i'll uh, explain you that what is happening there you can see the whole pyramid is created so let's go again through this while loop so first of all the k value is 4 okay so we have four spaces created then j is multiplied to uh, this a which is the star so this is initially 1 but it is multiplied by 2 so 2 are created then we have added 1 to j then again this for loop comes so the value is 3 now the uh, the value of k is 3 now so we have three spaces here but for this star we are multiplying this by 2 so this is already 2 but we are multiplying this by 2 so it becomes 4 then 6 okay so this is how this full pyramid is being created okay these are some of the conceptual question that you must solve to understand the loops okay so these are the best examples or the best exercise that you can do for loops and i'll definitely be coming up with more of such videos okay and this is part of my python basic series so if you want to continue with the series then the link of the playlist will be provided in the description you can start from from the very beginning okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye